I am getting a message request. Why are you getting a message request? If there's a message request, it should come to my comm. The message is addressed to the HOVA. So it's someone I don't know. Patch it through, I guess. My ship had finally come in, but in this case, the ship was a battered HOVA. Redemption comes in all shapes and sizes, sometimes with bumps, dents, and a dime store paint job. What? Who is this? The dame wanted a name. What did I have left to lose? And nothing but my hat. I let her know that I was Huxley, but I, uh, left off the private investigator. She'd know the deal soon enough. Um, so you're a private investigator and your name is Huxley. The dame was as sharp as my ex-wife's parting words before she left me and moved back in with her mother. She'd pegged me as a P.I., but I, uh, still needed her help. Maybe I could drop some bills in her pocket if she could get me back to the big stack. I think Huxley is malfunctioning. I'm closing this channel now. Please stop calling me. The dame was giving me a shoulder so cold I was getting frostbite. I uh, had to sweeten the deal. I'd already mentioned the cash, but uh, no dice. Maybe I'd put it all on red and tell her about the girl I was trying to save. The dame sounded hot as ice, but Pasta's story was so sad, it would melt a diamond. Why does he talk like that? I might actually help him if he wasn't so annoying. I've never heard so many mixed metaphors in all my- I dangled the bait in the water, but the dame wasn't buying. Without my help, Pasta was done for. When the dead corpse finished with her, God knows what would be left. Dead corpse? Is he trying to save some girl from them? I have located his signal. I have a nav point. We could pick him up. Should I display the nav point? Hey Huxley, if you can answer a simple question, I'll take you back up the city. Are you really a PI trying to save a girl from a debt corp? Yes, is what I wanted to say. But the dame was suspicious, and who could blame her? Here I was, some abandoned PI android stuck in the hollows with a two-bit story about trying to save some girl. In her position, I would have hit the dirt in a heartbeat. But here's the kicker. The story was true. Fine. Camus, give me an F point. We'll take him with us and drop him off on the way. In here? He didn't know. Access 
granted account balance. The game really came through. We gotta go. Why do you talk like that? Who was this bum that was questioning me? Another tin can with an attitude and too many questions. I gave him the brush off. Hey, don't talk to him like that or I'll drop you in the hollows. The dame had a point. I'd better play nice for now. I'd slip her some bills when she took me to the holocash machine. A handful of limbs should help dip this sour lemon in a little sugar. Can you understand what he is saying? About 40% of it. The dame and the car were close. Any fool could see that. But I, I looked beyond the surface. She was a girl from out of town. Still as green as the water supplies down in the vents. You said you're a private investigator. Do you really think that's how they talk? She had an attitude, but I liked her. And a dog, too. How did he know I was... am... your dog? I guess that's what investigators do, right? There was a holocash machine up ahead, but I had to keep a real low profile. I'd give the dame my number and let her grab the cash for me. 
And that number would be? I gave her the digits. Five, four, two, four, four. She was a smart cookie. She'd remember them. Five, four, two, four, four. settled the bill. Surely the dame would drop me like a bad penny now. This is a lot of money. I can drop you somewhere else if you like. Why are we helping him more? He's kind of growing on me. Hmm. The dame had a heart of gold. I asked her to drop me at my office. On the way, I tell her about Pashta. Maybe she'd fall for me like I'd fallen for her. I do not like this. Where is this office of yours, Huxley? We were headed towards my office in Old Town. I gave the dame a nav point to help her out. Hold on, Pashta. It won't be long now, kid. Thanks. Who is this Pashta, anyway? What happened to her? It was a story so sad it could make a bronze statue of a lawyer cry. It all started with a call from a small-time hustler called Peter Unthrink. He tended a bar downtown, but he had some bad debt. The debt corp took his cash, but when that wasn't enough, they took his daughter too. He had a record, so Corpsec wasn't gonna help him. With nowhere left to turn, he sought the help of Midtown's best, cheapest PI. So the debt corpse can abduct children now? The dame didn't realize who she was dealing with. The debt corpse had hearts blacker than my morning cup of joe. Huxley, were you always like this? Did something happen to you? The dame thought I had a screw loose. I guess her instincts were good. Truth was, there was a time when I sounded just like every other humdrum android out there. Now, I played a role so well, I was stuck in it. My programming was uh, messier than my... Here's the kicker. I was a better investigator now than I'd ever been. boarded up. Did you get fired? The dog was half right. I was fired, but that place was where I slept, so I, I guess I was homeless too. Eviction was the illness, but what was the cause? Probably not paying your rent. There's a note on your door. Shouldn't you read it? Who knew how hot this place was? I was sure I'd been tailed. If I stepped up to that doorway, I might get a knife in the back or a bullet in the head. I think you're being overdramatic. I'll check out the note. What if it is not safe? I'll take my chances. I want to see what this note says.
Okay, I can see the note. It says, go to the blue chewy jazz bar and ask for the smoking man. We're not taking him there too, are we? I, I couldn't ask the dame for much more. She'd already stuck her neck out for me. We can drop him off at the bar. It's close by. Soon we'd be at the Blue Chewy Jazz Bar. It was a dive, but it was the kind of place you'd go for answers. Who had left me that note? Who was the smoking man? And where would I? We have an incoming call. Control? No. It is for Huxley. I knew who was calling. This would be bad. Put it through, I guess. What in chorus name you think you're doing, you pile of junk? Where have you been? The client was mad, and with good reason. He would paid good money, but I'd been stuck down in the hollows following a lead. The lead went cold, and I was trapped down there. you with a logic virus. I have hacker friends. Hey, what the hell? I don't know who you are, but you better leave this idiot to do his job. I was gonna save that girl, but not because of the threats. Truth was, I was the only one searching for her. 24 hours, then your time's up. I want my daughter back, but if she's gone, she's gone. I'll live with that. But what I won't stand for is some android stealing my money. Get to work. He hung up. We're close to the bar. I hope the dame would come with me. Was that too much to ask? Uh, yes. I'll come to the entrance, but after that, we need to get back to work. And if Control calls with another job at any point, you're on your own, Huxley. The offer was as fair as the spin of a roulette wheel. I rolled the dice and took a gamble. You don't use dice in roulette. I know, Camus. Just let it go. Are you the one that left the note? Who are you? The chump had an attitude and a smell to match. They didn't call him smoking Jojo because he was cute. His circuit boards were on the fry, literally. He was half burnt out, overheating and underperforming. He didn't like the dame, but he knew me. We went way back, but Jojo's lips were normally sealed tighter than my name is Rania. I picked him up in the hollows, and he says he's looking for a girl called Pashta. Why did you leave the note? As Huxley knows, I normally don't say nothing to nobody. <clears throat> but as you can see, I ain't got long left. You could fry an egg on my processor. Can't you get help? Repairs? <coughs> nah. They don't make the parts for a home model like me no more. <laughs> and I ain't got no limbs anyway. Point is... If I want to do some good, I better do it now while I can. Huxley, I know something about this girl you're looking for. I wanted to hear what the old bucket had to say, but how did he know I was looking for pasta? You've been asking around town. Word gets out. I was playing a private gig a few months back. The 
pay was real good, and I'm still the best horn player in town. Even if I don't look too good these days, what with all the rust and all. While I was there, <clears throat> I overheard some things. This ex-corp goon called Raguan was there, talking about how he got screwed over. And? Look, I don't like squilling like this. <coughs> Give me a minute. Jojo was singing like a songbird, but would we dance to his beat? Huxley, please be quiet for a minute, okay? I can't believe I'm getting sucked into this. So what does this Raguan guy have to do with Pashta? Well, this Raguan guy's drunk, and he's throwing his weight around. <coughs> Near enough getting into a fight with some waiter who's just trying to serve the champagne. In the middle of mouthing off, Raguan says he's dangerous, and he can make people disappear. He says he's not to be messed with, because the last guy that messed with him lost his kids. Then he starts crying. That's strange, but it doesn't link him to Pashta in any way. But he says the name. I was the only one that heard him, but he takes a drink, and through his tears he keeps saying, sorry, Pashta, sorry. <coughs> now, ain't that a thing? That's a lead, at least. The trail had gone cold for a while, but with JoJo's help, we'd picked it up again. Come on, I can try to find where this Raguan lives. I'll ask Camus back in the Hava. After that, though, you're on your own, Huxley. Weird, weird, weird. Who's the delivery driver? Now, private investigator. He is still here? Why is he still here? We're just taking him to one more place. Why? The dog still didn't trust me. I guess it could smell desperation, and I reeked of it. Camus, we need to find out the address for an ex-CEO called Raguan. Can you find that somehow? I could. Well, are you going to? Yes, I will do it. Searching. Searching. There was a news story in the Mero Gazette Holovids three months ago about a CEO called Ragwan. What did it say? Midtown's youngest CEO fired for bribing CorpSec without the proper clearance from board of directors. That doesn't help us find him. Sounds like the papers got some info on the crooked CEO. Did the papes get some snaps, though? Did the... you mean photos? Camus, was there a picture of Ragwan in the Holovids? Yes. He looked... Sad. I'll bet. But was there anything in the background? Searching. There is a building in the photo. Cross reference with the latest city planning database. I have a match. It is the new apartments in Upper Midtown. I have an address. That sounds like where a CEO would stay. Let's assume the Holovids caught Raguan leaving his apartment. Camus, give us an F point. Not at all. Completely free. Good. I, uh, I don't have a job for you. I was just wondering if... You know what, Control? Can I get back to you? I'm just picking up another coffee. All right, kid. Uh, all right. Uh, I'll have a job soon, though. No rush, Control. Chat soon. I started to feel like I was holding the dame back. I didn't want to get her in trouble. It's fine. Let's just see what we can find at Raguan's apartment.
This was the place for sure. I was on my way. Wait, do you want me to... I couldn't ask the dame to do any more. She was a class act. A dime store performer in a city of nickels. A diamond in a waste bucket. Good luck, Huxley. I said goodbye to my new friends. The dame flashed me a smile brighter than the sun. Even the dog wished me good luck. No, I didn't. Camus, wish him luck. Good luck, I guess. Be careful, Huxley. I hope you save Pashta. The dame wished me luck. Luck? Luck was for gamblers and Girl Scouts. Yeah, see you later, folks. Are you experiencing heartache, depression, apathy, vaguely defined and weak? Then check out this season's best-selling emotional immunizations at Immune One. All right, let's get this vehicle back to the house. Will he be okay? I don't know, Camus. I have an additional question. Go ahead. What is a Girl Scout? What is a dime? What is a nickel? Should I search for them? No, it's time to move on, Camus. Hey kid, um, you free now? Finished your coffee? My sure thing control. You got another job for me? Come by Cloudpunk HQ and grab a package. It's, uh, it's for Anderson Financial in Anderson Tower, labeled Mr. Anderson. Is it on Anderson Street in Anderson Town? Don't joke, kid. You don't know the half of it. Control out. The car. Or Hova. Hova. Character though, right up here to the top of the Oh, right there. And then I suspect that they're gonna go. Oh, there. I love this. Oh, cool. Ah, that's good. Nice. Okay. Oh, nice. Cool. Not bad. 
spot at all. All right, let's take a look at our apartment here. Very nice. It's very good. All over the place. Joe. Joe, baby. Dog house. Doggy. Which tank. A lot of desk. Chair for the desk. Ah. Ah. I like it. Ah, that's good. Very good. A... This is the old Cozy house. All right, that's it.